Guys, today I am looking at this cool motion tracking pet or baby monitoring smart pan and tilt camera from Blue Rams. Now, in a sea of security camera tech, is this one any good? Find out in just a few seconds. What's up YouTube, Dave here with Scene Through a Lens and thanks for stopping by the channel. We make lifestyle videos and all things tech, so if that's your kind of thing, then please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. So guys, this is the Blue Rams Dome Light 2 with 2K recording, intelligent alerts, two-way audio, night vision, human detection, and remote pan, tilt, and zoom this sounds like a killer piece of kit. Now, first off guys, Blue Rams sent me this camera to review in exchange for my honest opinion. In fact, I have a few Blue Rams home tech devices, so stay tuned as I use all of these together. But guys, as you know, whether I buy it myself or whether I'm sent it, you're always gonna get my honest opinion, good, bad, or indifferent. So. Before we get into it, let's take a look in the box and let's see what we have. First off, when we open the box, we have a mounting template. We have some instructions, we have a power brick, some wall fixing should you want to mount this, and we have a USB-A to micro USB cable. Mmm, micro USB. Come on guys, it's time for USB-C. Anyway, let's take a quick look around the camera itself. You have the flashing LED, which gives you a status depending on the color. So when it's flashing red, it's kind of ready to pair up and sync up to your network. And when it's green, it's all ready to go. So guys, this is full pan, tilt and zoom. And if you slide the lens all the way up, it exposes the micro SD card slot, which will take a card up to 128 gigabytes. Now, a point to note here is that you can actually record 24 seven to the Blue Rams cloud for free. Now there are a few restrictions, but still that is mega useful. Then on the back, you have the micro USB port, a reset button and the speaker. And lastly, on the bottom, you've got some mounting points. So if you do want to mount this on the ceiling, which would be better probably than the wall, you can. Now, setting this up was pretty easy. Power up the light dome too. Once you do this, it will initialize. It will pan round a couple of times and then it's good to go. Now you just have to download the app from either the Google Play Store or the iOS App Store, register for an account, Pick the device you want to connect to and just follow the instructions. It's pretty easy. You'll be prompted to connect to your Wi-Fi, which incidentally has got to be 2.4 gig and not five. Enter the password of your Wi-Fi and then you will be prompted with a QR code. Point this at the camera and you're good to go. Everything from there on just gets set up. So now that we are set up, let's take a look at the app. We we're initially presented with an image of the first shot that it's captured, which is me, obviously. We can see that right now we are recording to the cloud. There's a settings option and also a power button to turn the camera off. Once we get to the main part of the app, we can see a live stream from the camera. We can set quality, take a picture, record the video on demand. We can turn the audio on and off and put the picture into full screen mode. At the bottom, we have the ability to send an emergency alarm to the camera, which I've got to say is pretty loud. You can also talk from your phone to the camera and you have the PTZ or the pan, tilt and zoom button, which enables you to do just that. Now, zooming can be done by pinching or the easiest way to do it is to actually just double tap on your phone screen and there you go, double tap and you're in, double tap and you're zoomed out. Now, of course, you can scroll with your finger on the screen to do the same. Also, as a pretty cool touch, you can save your PTZ settings as presets, so that's pretty handy. Now, of course, this camera is motion capable, and if you go into the settings, you have a bunch of different things to play around with. You can set the device name, 
quality of the picture, you can set night vision, you can choose a cloud package, in fact there's a ton of options to play with. But of course one of the big features of this camera is motion tracking. So here you can set the area that you want to track, the sensitivity and more. You can also get the camera to track movements and follow those movements so that's pretty useful as well especially if you're tracking a pet or something like that. Now guys, clips can also be downloaded locally. This bad boy allows you to also link your camera to ALEXA, yeah you know who I mean, also to Google and to IFTT so you can use any of these devices to control your camera and if you've got like an Echo Show or something like that you can see the camera screen right on your Echo Show. Pretty nice. And lastly, you can also use Siri. So guys, you know, this just about wraps this one up. This was a first look at this really nice Light Dome 2 from Blue Rams. It's pretty cool and a very good security camera. Blue Rams makes a ton of different security devices. I also have an outdoor camera and a wireless doorbell to review. So watch out, ring. And if you're interested in those videos, please subscribe and click on that notification bell as they're coming soon. So guys, a thumbs up for this Light Dome 2 camera. It's very good. The only things I would say that could have made this camera even better if it would have had a rechargeable battery rather than relying on it to be plugged in all the time. The connector was USB-C because that's what we're kind of standardizing on. And if there was just a little less lag in the motion tracking. Other than that, no complaints this is a nice piece of kit and you know what for 25 pounds at the time of this video i mean 25 pounds for all of this that's pretty damn impressive guys if you have any comments or questions then please leave them in the comments section i'll leave any product links and discounts in the description and guys if you like the video then please give it a thumbs up it really does make a difference and if you'd like to see any more of my content please subscribe and click on that bell icon to be notified of new videos thanks to you guys for watching thanks to blue rams for sending me this dome light 2 Watch out for all the other Blue Rams videos coming soon. Until then, guys, I'm Dave with Seen Through a Lens, and I'll see you the next time. Bye for now.